last lecture, we found a formula for summation from k equal 1 to n of k squared. In this lecture, we propose to find the following summation. Summation from k equal 1 to n of k to the cube, which is equal to 1 to the cube plus 2 to the cube plus up to n to the cube. If you do not know the answer, then please try to guess it by yourself and come back to see this after. Solution. Here's the answer. If we compute a few terms of this summation, summation from k equal 1 to 1 of k to the cube, this is equal to 1 to the cube, which is equal to 1. Summation from k equal 1 to 2 of k to the cube is equal to 1 to the cube plus 2 to the cube, which is equal to 9. Summation from k equal 1 to 3 of k to the cube is equal to 1 to the cube plus 2 to the cube plus 3 to the cube equal to 36. Summation from k equal 1 to 4 of k to the cube equal to 1 to the cube plus 2 to the cube plus 3 to the cube plus 4 to the cube equal 100. Summation from k equal 1 to 5 of k to the cube equal to 1 to the cube plus 2 to the cube plus 3 to the cube plus 4 to the cube plus 5 to the cube equal 225. It is almost immediate to notice that these numbers are all square numbers. So summation from k equal 1 to 1 of k to the cube equal 1 square. Summation from k equal 1 to 2 of k to the cube is equal to 3 square. Summation from k equal 1 to 3 of k to the cube equals 6 square. Summation from k equal 1 to 4 of k to the cube is equal to 10 square. Summation from k equal 1 to 5 of k to the cube equal 15 square. And we should be already very familiar with this sequence. 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. The sequence is the sequence of triangular numbers as we have learned from the first lecture. So we can speculate that the sum we are trying to find is summation from k equal 1 to n of k to the cube is equal to t sub n square. This is a very interesting relation that as we have just seen is valid for the first five triangular numbers. We have already shown that t sub n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. Squaring that we get t sub n square is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2 square, which is equal to n square plus 2 times n to the cube plus n to the fourth over 4. And if one tries also t sub n minus 1 square is equal to n times n minus 1 over 2 square, and this is equal to n square minus 2 n to the cube plus n to the fourth over 4. Now, that means that the following relation is true. t sub n square minus t sub n minus 1 square is equal to n to the cube. We could have also arrived to this relation if we had multiplied the relations t sub n plus t sub n minus 1 equal n square and t sub n minus t sub n minus 1 equal n we found on a prior lecture. Now we have obtained a recursive relation similar to the recursive relations we had before for triangular numbers, but this time between the square of two consecutive triangular numbers and the cube of a number. Let us write the first few. t sub 2 square minus t sub 1 square is equal to 2 to the cube. t sub 3 square minus t sub 2 square is equal to 3 to the cube. T sub 4 square minus T sub 3 square is equal to 4 to the cube. The addition of the right hand side of these equalities is what we need. The left hand side seems to be simplifying all the terms, but the first and the last. T sub 4 square minus T sub 1 square. We can see we should be able to do this all the way to n. So the end result will be T sub n square minus T sub 1 square is equal to 2 to the cube plus 3 to the cube plus 4 to the cube plus up to n to the cube. And since we know that t sub 1 equal 1, then we can write t sub n square is equal to 1 to the cube plus 2 to the cube plus 3 to the cube plus up to n to the cube. 
being able to cancel all those terms was the key to the solution and that happened because there were the difference of consecutive terms of the same sequence so we may be able to generalize that more if instead of having a sequence of t sub n square we have an arbitrary sequence a sub n we can see that the same argument also works so a sub 2 minus a sub 1 and a sub 3 minus a sub 2 and a sub 4 minus a sub 3 and writing all the way up to a sub n minus a sub n minus 1 and adding them up we get a sub n minus a sub 1 and expressing this with the summation sign introduced in the prior lecture we have summation from k equal 1 to n of a sub k minus a sub k minus 1 equal to a sub n minus a sub 1. This amazing property of summation of contracting in this way is called summation telescoping property and it can be used to solve the problems we have solved before. For example, let us apply it to finding the sum summation from k equal 1 to n of k. Thinking on the same lines as before, one may think of k square minus k minus 1 square equal to 2k minus 1. So applying the telescoping property, we get summation from k equal 1 to n of k square minus k minus 1 square is equal to n square minus 0 equal to summation from k equal 1 to n of 2k minus 1. So applying the properties of summation we mentioned in the prior lecture, we get 2 times summation from k equal 1 to n of k minus summation from k equal 1 to n of 1 equal to 2 times t sub n minus n equal n square. And therefore, t sub n is equal to n square plus n over 2, which is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. As an exercise, try applying the summation telescoping property to find the summation from k equal 1 to n of k squared.